YouTube, it's your boy A Darius, and I'm bringing you guys a new game called Tory Bash, and it's like um, a physics game, and I'm gonna um, explain it in a few seconds, but just leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy. So you have sandbox ragdoll games, and then you have like, you know, the engines where the physics are built inside of it. So to me this game is like a mixed martial arts ragdoll sandbox game like you could say all of that and um, it allows you like Tory Bash allows you to customize your character in various ways as you see the forces and relaxes are you know they can be opposite colors they can be the same colors then you have body textures body textures um, just makes your character looks cool overall and um, I'm gonna show you guys a little surprise it's not really much of a surprise but just pay attention to how my character looks and trust me I've seen people way better so what I like about this game is the fact that you know you can customize your character in almost any way that you like you can have 3d items you can have man you name it anything off the top of your head you can probably guess it so this is me in a tournament and I was telling people that I was gonna record the um tournament if that was okay with them and they was like sure okay and they said hello to youtube now some of these people in the video game are like pretty obnoxious in ways like they just cuz some people say a lot of weird stuff but um you guys are going to see in the comments um i have i don't mean to offend anyone it's just like you know yeah that's how i am in game so everyone has that in-game personality. So um, I am in the middle of a fight that's about to end. That's why the frames look a little bit laggy. It's not really laggy. It's just the ragdoll physics looks pretty weird. So this is what you would normally see when you first enter a multiplayer lobby. Now, you can whisper people. You can add people. You can do a lot of things. Most people make bets. Um, it just depends on what type of server you're in and TC nowadays really expensive I currently have a 200 TC booster so every time I win you know I get 200 extra TC um, this is a 750 TC tournament so man once you get into the items of this game like you're really gonna value your TC more and that's what makes this game so fun because TC is very hard to get so you get all of these competitive players who need TC and able to customize their characters or buy whatever they want you know just to have a more appealing appearance to the dojo then you know you have to work for it so I just bought a booster it's about twenty dollars a month um it's not bad I mean you can do one month you can do three months so yeah now I'm gonna fast forward so we're gonna get into the fight that was actually before my fight and let me load up a little shader here for you guys now this game works by turn frame so each time you press space you're allowing yourself to you know move on to the next couple of turn frames that Tory Bash that the Tory Bash mod may offer so at the top you see that there's 490 frames left in the match 490 frames left in the match currently the frames are going by 20 frames per space if that makes any sense so I'm up next in line and that is the chat area at the bottom so basically those little like the colored rings at the top like in the center at the top of the um, display up there um, that's basically how much time you have to make your next move now if you click on the bodies it'll actually tell you the name of the character that is currently being clicked on so that is in tag the black orange and grayish guy and then um the Greg, i really don't know how to pronounce his name but he is the one with the marine relax and the marine relax is basically the blue color of that guy's tory so currently um the Greg have a grab actually on the leg of Intag and Intag can be in a little bit of trouble but I think he can pull it off actually yeah so basically Intag's leg is too heavy and it's gonna be too much pressure for the Greg to handle so knowing that this is a physics game if you're grabbing onto someone's leg in this type of position nine times out of ten your head is gonna be on the ground and that's gonna cause the Greg to DQ causing end tag to win nice little replay right here that I captured 
and now it's my time to fight. So, I value my openers like very dearly. So basically, openers are the first move that you make. And it can be the most important step that you take because someone can easily counter your opener within just one, like within one frame skip. So this is basically a strategy game. Now, the buttons that you see me clicking with my mouse here are basically joints and I can maneuver them in four different ways. Now, these, um, these joints can be maneuvered in four different ways, which is relax, hold, extend, or contract. Now, there are different types of um, joints that you can actually, you know, maneuver around, such as your chest. Your chest, you don't hold, well, you can hold and relax your chest, but you don't extend or you don't contract your chest. You actually rotate your chest left and right. So, there's a lot to learn with the joints, and actually, if you pay attention here, I have a dismemberment on his whole arm over here. And then on his other arm where it's blue where you see me adjusting my wrist and my shoulder area um, the blue colors means that he has a fracture and he can no longer use his joints due to the fact that it has so much damage on it and that's throwing me in the league right now so he has a fractured wrist elbow and shoulder I can see from this angle I'm just trying to finish the move and yeah you see his little arm flying off into the dojo if any sensitive body part touches the ground of the dojo you're disqualified sensitive body parts such as the knee the hip the glutes shoulder you know all that type of stuff so you're gonna see me go for a little paw well a little stunt right here um nothing too much serious but it's basically a pose and yeah that was a gg you see a little 200 TC booster. There's a replay for you. Yes, sir. So now we're going to get into this final fight for um, the finals. So this is the semifinals. And let's see. The semifinals is Antag and Victor. Now, Antag is the guy who won the first match before I even fought. And it was a pretty simple match. But, um... Note that Antag is only a brown belt and he's unranked, so that's pretty good for a guy with that type of belt. Now, people make alternate accounts, so that would be explanatory if he beat this fifth dan. But um, a fifth dan black belt, yeah, it takes plenty of time to get to that belt. You start off as a white belt, you go from yellow belt, then you know, so on and so on. If you know your karate belts, um, so let's see. Uh, Victor has a kick on Antag's left elbow right there well it's his left shoulder really because that's the part that's highlighting red and he took a little bit of damage let's see what's the next frame going to be here all right so they're kind of stabilizing each other inside of the air so he can have a better balance on his back area which is like the leg of victor now you see in tech he's going for a kick also but he's rotating his body to throw the momentum off so it's going to send Victor kind of, it's going to make him unbalanced. And as you see, he just took a kick to the chest. So um, you can basically see the um, joints that each player is maneuvering. The only people that can see that are the spectators. And, you know, if it was to be on Victor's screen, actually he wouldn't be able to see Intact clicking his glutes and, you know, so on and so on. You wouldn't, be the, you wouldn't be able to see the effect of the joints that they are maneuvering at the time. So, as you see, Intag, he looks like he's in a lot of trouble right here. Um, as you see me typing in at the bottom, I was trying to bet on myself for the next round, but I didn't even do it because I was so nervous. <laughs> You know, this was a pretty intense tournament, so I didn't even bet. But um, let's see. People were like adding to the decap prize. I put 420 on the decap prize. You probably saw it earlier. But um, yeah. So let's see what's gonna happen in these next frames. They have 320 frames left to go before this fight over with. And to win a fight, all you have to do is disqualify an opponent by getting a sensitive body part on the ground. Or, yeah, you can fight until the time run out, and whoever has the most points wins that fight. Now, you're going to see 
in tag grabbing himself here. Um, he's probably going to be in a little bit of trouble if he won't let go of that thigh area over here. As you see, Victor has the hand of in tag, and he can give in tag a little bit of problems here. We're going to see. So in tag doesn't decide to let go of his right thigh is pretty weird so you see his left knee is about to actually hit the ground if he doesn't extend it he could possibly DQ himself but there's like a million different joints you can click in this game just to save that without even clicking the knee so let's see what he does all right so basically he lifted Victor higher into the air and he got his knee like higher off the ground to prevent you know that area from touching the ground so that prevented him from being disqualified now you're going to see him um, maneuver his shoulder area, it looks like, to try to DQ Victor. Oh, wow. And you see both of their shoulders are very close to the ground. So it could be a draw here, but in these type of situations, man, it all varies to who pressed the right joints at the right time. So we're going to see what happens within these next 50 frames. The game should be over by then. Yep. So you see Antag taking out the win again. Let's look at that replay. And you see, he still gets the DQ with the shoulder, and Antag wins. All right, so here we go. I decided to sit still for the first few frames. Now, what I basically did was press C, and that's why you see my radioactive, which is the light greenish color and that is called my force so that is my force and the black areas of my joints are the relax and it kind of like you know it relaxes the joint so as you see i let him attack me on the first one and you see he hits me uh in my upper chest and my lumbar area lumbar which is my stomach so i'm gonna maneuver my pecs and my shoulders maybe my wrist right here just to see what's gonna happen and as you see I'm gonna actually try to use his weight against himself. So I let him pick me up right here. And let's see here. Use my left wrist to actually catch my balance. And I'm gonna try to contract the glute just to keep my stance up higher. So let's see what happens here. Alrighty, so now um, Intag is in a pretty tricky situation right now. I actually got him on his heels, so I'm actually going to attempt to grab him right here. And this could possibly DQ me. Hopefully he doesn't grab my left wrist right here because I know I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. So let's see what happens. Okay, so... He grabbed himself and actually this like he fractured his own knee. Now, I have knee problems myself and I can tell that the position Antag is in does not look good. So I'm actually gonna try to jerk his ragdoll around a little bit to see what happens in the next frame. Oh my gosh, yeah, Antag, you're going down, man. So I'm just gonna grab the top of his head just to have control over his momentum. And hopefully I win this tournament, man. We're going to see in the next few frames. He's actually beating me in points. So if I don't get him down on the ground pretty soon, I can still lose. Let's see what happens. And as you see that I come up victorious with the 750 TC and also the 200 TC booster. Now, guys, um, I just hope you enjoyed. This has been my very first story with Bash video. And if you have any comments, just leave them below in the comment section. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe. And you're going to see me thank these people before I go. Just to appreciate their service for being in the YouTube video. Alright, y'all. I'm out. Have a good one.